All right, a very good morning to you. It's good to see you on this Wednesday uh, morning, actually the last day of the month of May. So I hope that you're well and ready to face the day. Welcome to the show. My name is Winnie Lumbembe. And of course, today it's also a pretty significant day because it is the World No Tobacco Day. And of course, today we're going to have an interesting conversation uh, as far as tobacco burden, especially here in the country. And of course, what are some of the things that we need to do to make sure that we reduce the burden as well as the harmful effects of tobacco? Because again, like I said, World No Tobacco Day is observed globally on May 13th. 31st. I said 30th, 31st <laughs> every year. And of course, the aim is raising awareness, like I said, about the harmful effects of tobacco consumption. At the same time, encouraging people to quit smoking. Now, in the country, tobacco is one of the uh, four risk factors. And this is as far as the alarmingly increasing burden of non communicable diseases in this country. So, the big question is how then do we reduce the burden of tobacco in the country? But at the same time, we also need to consider the fact that we have tobacco farmers in the country, all right? And of course, there's a huge, huge conversation around transitioning from tobacco farming to other, um, you know, crops. But the big question is then how do we make it a little bit lucrative and attractive for these farmers to consider transitioning for the same? We'll be talking about that in just a moment so you want to stick around until the end of the conversation but at the same time how about we look at what the numbers say as far as tobacco is concerned so well, no tobacco day as well, uh, you know, it is today. And of course, this year's theme is grow food, not tobacco. And this is according to the World Health Organization, which again continues to say that tobacco is grown in over 124 countries and taking up millions of hectares of fertile land that could be used to grow food, address food security and nutrition challenges, as well as help feed families. All right. So then what exactly do the numbers look like? So 1.3 billion tobacco users are there globally and of course 80 percent of tobacco users live in low middle uh, income countries eight million people die annually from tobacco related illnesses and this is according again to the world health organization but again let's take a look at the second hand um you know consumers as far as tobacco is concerned we have 1.2 million plus second hand non-smoker deaths that are reported annually as well but coming back to the country we have 9,000 kenyans who die annually from tobacco related illnesses so the big question is what exactly do we do to prevent um, you know, the, um, you know, the tobacco related illnesses, diseases, and of course the effects of the same as far as you know, tobacco is concerned. But again, like we said, we have a very simple question for you today. And of course, we look forward to hear what you have to say. And the question is pretty simple. What should be done? And this is to reduce uh, the tobacco burden and its harmful effects, all right? What should be done to reduce the burden of tobacco and its harmful effects? And of course, if you are watching us this morning and maybe you are a user and probably you're trying to quit because you hear a lot of people who say, you know what, I have used it for a very long time. I have seen my grandfather use it. I have seen my father maybe use it. Several people in my family use it. But if you're trying to quit, um, you know, majority of the people will tell you it's not as easy because again, and like we all know, nicotine, uh, you know, is highly, highly addictive. So the question is, what exactly do we do? All right. So if you're watching us and you're trying to quit and you have a question or maybe, you know, someone and you're probably trying to force them to quit, send us your concerns and your questions at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on Twitter. And of course, not forgetting the question that is what should be done to reduce tobacco burden and its harmful effects. So at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on Twitter is how you can reach us or better yet, give us a call. Our lines are open and let's just get to understand more on the impact of tobacco and not only to our health, but also to the environment uh, and economically as well. And how do we reduce the burden um, as far as that is concerned? So my guests are already here in studio. And of course, we have Mr. Joel uh, Shunza Gitali, who's the chairman, Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance, that is Ketkat. So good to have you this morning. How are you, you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Karibu sana. That's and of course, we also have Pius Mutie Nzomo, a.k.a. Siso Kenya. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm very fine. Thank and you're you. here today to just share, first of all, your journey and your experience as far as tobacco is concerned. Yes. Um, and of course, the whole question of uh, quitting. Because like I said, when you yeah. talk to so many people, they'll tell you it's not easy. Yeah. Um, you know, right yeah. to, to quit. Some people have been forced yeah. to quit, yeah. but you find yourself, um, you know, relapsing um, at the same time. So I would like to hear from you, but I'm really, really curious about uh, your name, Siso Kenya. Yeah. Where, where did it come from? Um, 
I am an entertainer. Yes. I am an author. Uh -huh. I am so much into art. Yeah. In many fields. Yeah. So uh, that's my brand name yeah. actually. Yeah. Siso Kenya. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. But Joe, for you, let's just start with you and just painting the picture for us as far as tobacco is concerned. I know the celebrations are taking place in Migori um, mm -hmm. today, and of course, we'll try and link up with our reporter in Migori just to you know help us um, get a feel of what exactly is happening on the ground and also speak to a few people and especially the farmers really, as far as. Um, tobacco farming is concerned and some of the challenges that they are experiencing because a lot of things that are happening there's the contractual um you know unfair contractual agreements that um you know they are also forced to have you know sort of like loans to make sure that they plant i mean it's just too much all right we'll get into that in a, in a moment uh but joel let's just start with you uh, in the country we see more than nine um you know thousand kenyans dying annually and this is from uh, tobacco so could you just paint a picture for us because you're very very active in terms of you know championing for a no tobacco <laughs> <laughs> um country well <coughs> paint the picture for us exactly how are we doing uh you know and especially as far as the users um is concerned yeah, surely, as you say, uh, the situation is not so good uh, because when you find uh, about 11% of Kenyans uh, mm -hmm. uh, using uh, tobacco products, mm -hmm. and that's just a figure that we arrive at um, by looking especially at those who smoke. Mm -hmm. But those who use tobacco products, mm -hmm. uh, so many, including mm -hmm. very small children, mm -hmm. and uh, we've not had so good uh, researches uh, done mm -hmm. Even those who come up with statistics, um, when you look at it, where you find that um, they do more of estimations and guesswork. Mm. Otherwise, the situation is worse than uh, whatever is being uh, uh, given. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we had made some progress, yes. Mm. But then uh, the emergency of these uh, new products mm -hmm. uh, has really reversed the gains that we had made, mm. especially shisha. When Shisha came in, you know, everybody went into yeah. it, and especially girls. Mm. Everything just became a mess. Mm -hmm. And we fought against it. It was banned. Uh, it disappeared a bit, but it has re-emerged, and nobody seems to bother even when we talk. Mm. We have the uh, enforcement officers. We have the government that is supposed to enforce the law. Mm. But then ours is to talk. And then after talking, fellows look at us and ask us uh, what has happened after you have talked. Yeah. They continue like with their own lives is, as is, usual. Is being done. Yeah. yeah, so mm -hmm. the situation is not so good when it comes to consumption. Mm -hmm. And we are worried that um, uh, very small children are going into it, uh, these, especially these new products. Mm -hmm. You've seen something lift which we mm -hmm. fought against. It had been registered as a pharmaceutical product mm -hmm. irregularly. Mm -hmm. So it was deregistered by the then cabinet secretary, mm -hmm. but it has re-emerged as okay. Velo. Yeah. They've changed the name and brought it. It is there selling and they tell you on your face yeah. that it is uh, we are selling it and we have the permission to do it. We don't know permission from who. From where, uh, yeah. So many a time they've called us to go for meetings to standardize, to, re to, to put standards for it. But we say we cannot go to put standards mm -hmm. for a product that is already on the market. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it must not be there the first so place, that yeah. we come up with the standards mm -hmm. that will regulate it. But now if it is already there, it so, becomes a bit of a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. So, so clearly, yeah, mm. there's a lot of gaps really um, yeah, you know, the, as far the, as uh, you know, tobacco is concerned. And I'm happy mm. that you pointed out something very important because majority of the times when you talk about or mention or even think about tobacco, of course, mm. the first thought will be on smoking. Yeah. But you've talked about, you know, other tobacco products. So could we just quickly go through them to make it clear <laughs> for people to really understand so that we don't just think about smoking as one of the things that you know is contributing to a lot of death in the country yeah currently when we talk about uh, tobacco we even include uh, uh, these nicotine products uh, that are not necessarily tobacco mm -hmm. because our focus uh, majorly is on this mm -hmm. addiction yeah because the addiction is um, uh, that makes a fellows now to get into using anything that has nicotine mm -hmm. so we have got the traditional cigarettes as you, uh, you put it we have the cigars you know them mm -hmm. we have shisha as we have said mm -hmm. and then we have these oral nicotine pouches mm -hmm. and uh, there are other products you have heard of gobert mm -hmm. 
others even which I cannot pronounce, I don't even, I have not even <laughs> seen them. Uh, we have e-cigarettes, yes. electronic cigarettes that yeah. look so nice. Yeah. Even when somebody has it near a parent, a parent uh, does not you know. Might not know. You, uh, your son yeah. might even leave it here and you call, hey, yeah, you are leaving your, <laughs> your good thing here. <laughs> you see, so. Maybe you don't the, know what exactly that yeah, is. so yeah. There, there are so many. And yeah. uh, some of these products enter this country through our poor. Uh, borders mm -hmm. coming from countries like Ethiopia mm -hmm. through Uganda and, and the other places. But then we have even those like the nicotine uh, pouches, oral nicotine pouches, mm -hmm. that seem to enter the country just through the right channel, but mm -hmm. wrongly. Because you have to go to these fellows of KRA, the cabs, mm -hmm. and what they do, you wonder how do they receive these products and let them enter the country and they be sold. Uh, so yeah. we still have a very long, a very way, long to go, way to go, very long yeah. way to go. And it's important that uh, mm. we're, we're having that conversation, and especially yeah. on a larger scale, just then to see um, how do we reduce, um, first of all, the chances of these products getting into the country in the first place because again yeah. like you said when it when it's already in the market it becomes very difficult to sort of like um, you regulate the same mm -hmm. and the fact that manufacturers are becoming very crafty um you yeah. know nowadays and, and introducing like we're saying the e-cigarettes uh mm -hmm. we're talking about vape which uh, pretty much common it's like almost um you know many young people are actually using it it's mm. very flavored so you would not even know that you know what exactly you are consuming there's some people who are arguing and saying that is much much better than taking the traditional cigarette so we'll come back to you to <laughs> to address more on the same yeah, exactly. um but let's talk to to siso kenya that's a, that's a very interesting name siso kenya all right so <laughs> let's go back right yeah, yeah. um because you told me like you started smoking out of peer pressure yeah. right yeah. so when when like was your first contact with uh i don't know i don't know whether it was cigarette or shisha yeah cigarette. or whatever it is cigarette, cigarette. okay yeah, cigarette. so when was it your was first introduction um to the scene uh 31st of march 31st march 2014. all right uh let me say it was a a heart broken filled day mm, okay. like I was heartbroken that day. What happened? Uh, <laughs> you know, love is blind. Then <laughs> yeah. it's think, difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. you were heartbroken that day. Yeah. Okay. So and I had a gig mm. on that day in one mm. of the u universities mm. in town, and just like that, mm. just like that, mm. when my fellow peers were smoking mm -hmm. my fellow entertainers are smoking you know mm -hmm. entertainers and fun mm -hmm. so i was just proposed into smoking mm -hmm. cigarette by one of my friends yeah. at the sujaribu yeah. you know i'm having a drink mm -hmm. and you can complement it with this yeah so it's like get, get off the hard yeah, you yeah, know yeah yeah so i tried mm -hmm. that was my first i can remember it like it was yesterday yeah and after I took it, I never knew taking the second one, the third one, the fourth yeah. one. Yeah. I found myself taking even a packet and a half or even two In that in one day. day? Yeah, in, in one day. Oh, it, wow. was, it was a process. Mm. Yes, it was a process. It's not like I smoked so much in the beginning. Oh, yeah, because there's like a whole packet in, in, in that very... Wow. Okay. No, yeah. I started with one cigarette, yeah. but I never knew smoking the second one that, that i never knew the addiction yeah. was growing yeah in me. before you get to yeah. before you get so to the addiction part. when it yeah. came to 2021 mm. that is when i started now feeling a difference mm. in my system i right. started realizing there must be something that is wrong mm. either something that i'm using or something that i'm um is affecting me either from an allergy or something so i started questioning myself so much okay my dad is a doc so mm -hmm. I'm lucky mm. and I consulted him mm. and he asked me un, now that was the time I had to open up to my dad yeah. that I smoke okay. cigarette. Yeah. So it, they didn't know? Like they, all yeah, the they didn't know. They didn't know. Yeah. Okay. And I had to open up to him because mm. I had this, actually even now I can even testify, I can tell mm -hmm. that even now I'm still battling it. It is two years since I decided to say I have to quit this mm. but it is a battle it yeah. is a battle i am i am really struggling mm. i am really struggling i have really struggled mm. so much because now 
God has blessed me with two kids. I don't mm. want them to see me smoking. Yeah. When I, I when I have to smoke, mm. I had to like go hide go somewhere. somewhere and hide, yeah, because yeah. I don't want my son to see me smoking. I don't yeah. want my daughter to see me smoking. Mm. So it is it is a trauma to myself. Mm. Working with uh, okay, my so. dad here. Yeah. I, I call him my dad because mm. he's one of the people who are now making me mm -hmm. see the essence and the importance of quitting this yeah. because I am not just doing it mm -hmm. I have not just done it mm -hmm. now I'm, I've done it with a purpose mm -hmm. I've not done it for myself yeah. I'm now doing it for the for the whole entire mm -hmm. universe yeah. to be safe from yeah. this because I can testify I can tell yeah. that even two years after making a decision mm -hmm. that I am going to quit I am still battling it it's because the left yeah. side of my of my throat I am an entertainer I feed mm -hmm. from this voice this yeah. voice is what makes me who I am yeah. it is what has brought me together with mm -hmm. Mze yeah. to work in order to save this voice from mm -hmm. getting lost because many people need it mm -hmm. Not only I need it, but yeah. the whole entire globe yeah. needs this voice. I mean, because that. you use that to to spread awareness yeah. as far as yeah. you know smoking and and, and the impact yeah. of, of of this thing. Yeah. Yes. Um. So you said when you started, you didn't know when you got to the addiction part, yes. right? Yes. Yes. So I want to imagine, like, when you started, you took what, like one or maybe two. Yeah. Um. You know, but sometimes even a half. Or even a half, right? Yeah. 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 So. So at what point would you say you got yourself to taking a whole packet yeah. a day or taking a whole packet and a half or maybe two, um, you know, in, in some instances? At what point did you get to, to that level? Uh, that's a good question because smoking, smoking, uh, smoking tobacco does not just come alone. It comes with acquaintances. Ah, okay. So the you will find that anybody who's smoking friends. a cigarette yeah. is either a drunkard Mm. or choose cut mm -hmm. or or does another drug mm. that it does not come alone okay it does not come alone i am talking the truth because mm. the truth will set many people free not true yeah yeah and it will set that, i yeah. am personally mm. standing on this truth so that i can set myself free mm. i don't want as much as the addiction was maybe written in my lineage mm. to come and affect my very mm. innocent son okay and istaki yoniki too Eh, okay, so, so so you didn't know, so it 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 you sort of like graduated, quote unquote, from just using cigarettes yeah, itself to, to other to things. Drinking, I I, okay. I was using so al drinking. alcohol, yeah. Uh -huh. So alcohol comes mm -hmm. with cigarette okay. so nicely. Zina inja na vizuri sana. Yani, if you're uh, you chew cut, I have I have been there. Yeah. So you find that it is it's a, combination a good of complement. Things. Yeah, yeah, it is a good complement. So you wouldn't even tell, like, yes, you at couldn't what tell. point you would I get to that. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. And even my, the friends that friends. surrounded me at that time, mm. wow, 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 wow. If you get into the world of smoke, mm. you really get smoked. Mm. Yeah, because, mm. yeah. <laughs> Clearly, he's, he's, you're an artist. You get into the world <laughs> of smoking, you get smoked. Yes. No, you, I like that. Yeah. 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 And you, no, it's a very, very good reference. Yeah, you really... Good right thing, now, I can that. even appreciate. I can even appreciate the fresh breath that I feel on myself mm. as as a human being today. Because mm. ata siku mm -hmm. that nanuka zigara. Mm, okay. right. But it came to a moment mm -hmm. when nilianza kuji question because my baby mama, mm -hmm. my wife, mm -hmm. you know, she she used to tell me, I don't like that that smell. You wonder what are you talking about? Okay. Yeah, I don't like that smell. And I'm like, what smell? You yeah. know, what smell? Yeah. Because right at that time, it's nikamu inakoga, nikamu ni pepo. You cannot tell that you are in a world that is not good for you. Okay. Up until you come and get a certain awareness, awareness is the only answer. Yeah. Because there is something that must click your mind mm. through somebody mm. or as, a, as an individual mm. in person or maybe you meet that darkness that comes mm -hmm. with cigarette smoking yeah. like you find you find yourself affected or infected mm -hmm. with one of those 
many strange the things that come with tobacco. Now, yeah. Posandona, you decide now to mm. go back. Yeah. But you never know when you're really when you graduating. To, when you get to that when you're really graduating, you're really becoming a toxic smoker, yeah. Ujuangi, because you're you surrounded by toxic ones already. Mm. So you're even becoming more toxic. Mm. And as they become more toxic, they think of quitting. You're becoming more toxic, you're even intoxicating them more. Mm. So it is. Yeah. It is a chain. It is a chain network. I was a monkey chain smoking, but yeah. yeah. It is you are affected. You are you 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 affect another person. You infect another person. That person infects you, and mm. it goes like that. Mm. One of you, if one of you doesn't come out of that darkness, then both of you oh, will just yeah. go. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Um, and, and, and Joel, very quickly, because we need to go on a break in the next like a minute. I mean, sounds familiar, right? And especially amongst so many people who will tell you, mm. I got into this because of peer pressure, because of, I was stressed, I was this, I was that. I saw my dad smoking, I saw my grandpa smoking, and I wanted to try, and I got myself here. And before I knew it, I was addicted mm. um, to the same. So how much of a burden is it, and especially to, to the young people? Because the CDC says around 15 to 20, 25-year-olds are mostly affected by by, by the scene. Yeah. Yeah, you mean uh, how <coughs> how it affects Much them? Much of a burden, especially to the young people. And now, given yeah. that, like we said, manufacturers are becoming more creative and more crafty nowadays and introducing some of these other products that, you know, might not necessarily be seen as, you know, containing nicotine, but they really do. Yeah, you know, the, the last uh, research uh, mm -hmm. some time back was showing that uh, these young people, 1.5, uh, million, mm -hmm. but now uh, that figure might even be double, mm -hmm. and uh, is uh, a very bad thing because it uh, impacts on their ability to do so many things. They cannot be productive. Mm -hmm. You know, once you are sick, as he says, his mm -hmm. voice is what makes him to earn a living, yeah. and once he loses it, that is it. Yeah. And then there are just the people who will not want to associate with the, a smoker, even mm -hmm. if he has something good to offer. Mm -hmm. You see, even the, the wife, as he says, was mm -hmm. already saying, uh, no. They're not happy uh, yeah. about it, yeah. yeah. So there are those who will just want you to be away from them. Mm -hmm. uh, like, personally, I am normally very hasty and to accept even a relative who smokes to sleep in my house. Mm -hmm. Because I know sometimes after they've left, you go to that bedroom and it's mm -hmm. like, no. Mm -hmm. eh? So for young people, it's a, a really burden mm -hmm. uh, because uh, these are people who don't even have money mm -hmm. and yet they have to continue satisfying their, mm -hmm. their, their desires, their, their addiction. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a problem uh, to them mm -hmm. and uh, they might not even get employment when people want to find out the kind of life you lead and somebody says this one is a smoker forget about him mm -hmm. uh, among other things yeah so it's, it's, it's just good that uh, uh, they take care of themselves like the border border fellows most of them who are young you can imagine somebody struggling the whole day mm -hmm. with a motorbike uh, just to spend the literary hands on tobacco mm -hmm. and the, uh, maybe wife and the children are there yeah. waiting yeah. Uh, so it's uh, something that it should be avoided I at mean, all costs. Yeah, sort of like mm. disabling in so many in so many ways. Because again, like he was saying, you mm. have children, right? Yeah. Um, you have a wife. I mean, you have a family. You'd mm. want to protect them because um, you know the biggest burden is on the second uh, second hand smokers because yeah. they are not um, mm. you know smoking like they do not, but they are inhaling. Yeah, um, you know whatever it. whatever. So it's 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 very sort of like disabling economically, not good to the environment as well. And, and mm. as far as um, you know one's health is concerned okay so how about we take a break but of course when we come back we want to understand more on the policies um first of all because again like we always say here in the country we have really really good policies mm -hmm. but we have a biggest challenge when it comes to the implementation of the same and then we'll also talk about then for the farmers as well um, yeah. because there's yeah. also a huge and, and this is one of the focus for this year and mm -hmm. that is you know do not grow tobacco grow food but then the big question is how do we get these farmers to transition to the same but also make it a bit attractive um you know to them because most of them actually grow this um you know for cash for profit to make sure that they also fend for their family so then if we want them to transition then how do we make it easier for them to transition but again not forgetting the question that we're asking you today and this is what should be done to reduce the tobacco burden and its harmful effects we'll be going through your feedback after the break stay with us this is your world
Get ready to tantalize your taste buds and embark on a culinary journey with Pishi Bomba, the ultimate cooking show that brings the flavors of the world right into your living room. Tune in this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. with me, Claire Karatu, for a mouth-watering adventure. Pishibomba, in association with Coca-Cola. Make your mealtime more magical. Buy any participating pack. Check under the cap to get your code and stand a chance to win free food shopping for a year, plus millions in instant cash, airtime and shopping vouchers. I am so excited to have joined MKU. The flexibility in the payment of fees makes education very affordable. With over 165 fully accredited programs and the state-of-art learning facilities, you literally have the world in your hands in terms of career choice. The learning is not only uninterrupted, but also supported through ICT. And within no time, you're done with your studies. Join us and start your career journey. Intech is in progress. Mount Kenya University, unlocking infinite possibilities. The Ballin' Twister Box for only $7.50. NBA, KFC, balling all day. I'll give you anything you want, but just don't ruin my image, please. Don't ruin my image. <laughs> Mamu! Mamu! Boss! Nigo! To protect our family from germs that cause illness when it's cold, we use Dettol Soap. Dettol Soap with Germ Defense gives you protection. When it's cold, germs are transferred in different ways. And Dettol Soap's Germ Defense protects you from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Be Dettol sure. Cascadia Apartments at Two Rivers Development in Nairobi with a Madaraka offer till 30th June 2023. Price start from 9.2 million. Call us today on 0742-342-722 or text Cascadia to 22365. All right, welcome back. Time really, really flies. And of course, today is a very significant day, like we said, because again, the world is marking World No Tobacco Day. And of course, the theme for this year is Grow Food and Not Tobacco. So to help us with that conversation, we have Joel Shunza Gitali, who's the chairman of Kenya Tobacco Control, Alliance Kenya, as well as Pius Mutie Nzomo, a.k.a. Sisto Kenya, um, who's here to share his journey as far as, uh, you know, smoking tobacco is concerned. And of course, the impact of the same and how this affected his life, right? Um, and of course, like we're saying today, we have a very simple question for you, and that is what should be done to reduce tobacco burden and its harmful um, effects? Hey, a number of you, okay? Uh, so, <laughs> on Facebook, uh, Sami Kimani says, ban tobacco from Kenyan shops, all right? Um, and then someone else says, uh, Grace Odiambo, still on Facebook, says, um, let's stop tobacco farming okay and then someone else says um yes says let's let's stop uh tobacco farming and then another one says we should ban tobacco as well but then the big question is so after that all right what happens next how we, do we get to that level um like we said we have very 
really really good policies out there but then again the implementation is 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 a big challenge um so what do we do but Jill, i want you to speak to and especially the whole um aspect about farmers because we have people who are growing tobacco mm -hmm. not because they want to continue <coughs> but because they need to earn a living. And for majority of them, I was watching another lady's story and she said, my grandparents used to be tobacco farmers, my parents used to be tobacco farmers, and I inherited that. So when they passed away, I continued with the family business, and this is tobacco farming. And she was saying um, that at some point she got her children into the same, because again, they needed to come and help the family, um, you know, with all those things, um, until, I think earlier this year, when, when she stopped um, farming. So for so many farmers out there, right, who are farming tobacco just to earn a living, to be able to, to spent for their families. Um, what are some of the ways that maybe we could employ just to make sure that then make it easier for them to transition? In as much as we're, uh, the, you know, the WHO um, says we need to grow food and not tobacco. But mm. at the same time, these farmers need money to fend for their families. Okay, uh, this year's theme, as we say, um, the way that theme globally is uh, we need food and not tobacco. Mm. But in Kenya, we modified a bit because of mm. the what we are doing now. There's mm. a project of tobacco-free farms. Yeah. That's why we are saying grow food and not, not tobacco. tobacco. Yeah. And that the entire world is now in Kenya. We are in Migori, celebrating the successes that we've had. The farmers have actually shifted from uh, tobacco growing mm. to other viable, uh, economically viable alternatives, mm -hmm. and especially the nyota beans mm -hmm. that are very rich in iron. Yeah. They're very nutritious and they take a short time to mature mm -hmm. and then there is ready market for the beans so many farmers are going into that initially we had also soya being grown there mm -hmm. and then we have bananas and uh, other uh, things like dairy farming mm -hmm. those things are happening now in those places mm -hmm. and you know knowledge is power before one knows exactly where they are they cannot come out of there. That's true. Uh, so farmers for a long time used to think that they were getting something out of tobacco. Mm -hmm. Until researches were done, we did some tobacco farming economics mm -hmm. and uh, we could compare with the other alternatives. That if you grow tobacco and somebody else uh, grows uh, maize, for example, on the same acreage, mm -hmm. uh, who gains? Mm. So farmers have started comparing and seeing, surely, they are losing. Mm. And that's how they start now changing. You talk to three or four and one accepts what you are saying, mm. the rest refuse. But when they see now that one mm. uh, prosper, yeah. then they say, oh, so this thing is good. Mm -hmm. So we must have pace setters in everything. Yeah. 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 So that's what is happening now. Mm. And... Uh, this is a project that uh, was started by WHO, World Food Program, okay. and FAO, mm -hmm. in collaboration with the, the government of Kenya, Ministries of Agriculture, Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. and then the, gov uh, the, the, the county government of Migori. Yeah. And it has really succeeded, as we are saying, mm -hmm. farmers now know that mm -hmm. they can come out of the colonial mentality. You know, tobacco is brought by colonialists. Mm -hmm. And uh, until some communities, like in Central, think that it is part of their culture mm -hmm. when it's not mm -hmm. it's just a part of colonialism when they it fought the colonialists and us. went yeah. they they were left in the chains of uh, tobacco mm -hmm. and they don't know that mm. so people are changing and this project is going to be rolled to bungoma mm -hmm. busia tarakaniti meru mm -hmm. that so that farmers can actually engage in activities that will promote the health of their families. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we say we need food mm -hmm. and not tobacco, yeah. you know, it's a, a reality because we, in Kenya we have got that problem of shortage of food. Can you imagine now, we used to, to help the Ethiopians when they didn't have. Mm -hmm. Now you hear the government saying we are going to import maize Importing from maize. Ethiopia. Yeah. We are going to import from Tanzania, yeah. from Zambia. Then you keep wondering if you are Kenya, of all of the countries. We should not so we need to, yeah. uh, to take some measures and ensure that uh, mm -hmm. our farms produce food mm -hmm. when food is produced because you go to those areas you find that children are malnourished yeah. people's health is just bad mm -hmm. these are fellows who spend uh, nights outside there during curing because they must ensure mm -hmm. that the fire continues to burn yeah. you look at the environment it mm -hmm. is depleted mm -hmm. but now when you grow tobacco mm -hmm. 
you will deliver your produce to the company, mm. nothing else. Mm. But you see, when you grow food, mm -hmm. uh, like if you have maize or beans or bananas, mm. or whatever you have, yeah. it will be food for you and the and family. And it will also be food sell. fodder yeah. for uh, dairy mm -hmm. farming. Mm -hmm. You will also have even poultry. Mm -hmm. So you will be having other projects also coming up. Yeah. Uh, and you will be healthy. Mm -hmm. So, and there is ready market for mm -hmm. such things. Uh, mm -hmm. Schools will buy, hospitals, mm -hmm. and uh, there is just ready market for yeah. such things. Okay. So we are saying farmers should not fear. In Bungoma, mm -hmm. we can be able to supply our uh, our textile industry mm -hmm. with the cotton. cotton That's yeah. a cotton growing area that has been neg neglected. Mm -hmm. So if these people can come out of tobacco farming mm -hmm. and engage in such things, yeah. you will have a healthier and a wealthier uh, country. Yeah. yeah, no, I see that. I see that. Um, mm -hmm. Because again, like we're saying, tobacco is not just the, the impact on one's health, um, mm -hmm. but again, like we're saying, the environment, right? Um, mm -hmm. You talked about curing, and, and, and again, this lady was saying, listen, we use wood fuel. So, yes. of course, you know, we inhale that smoke, which is not good for us. All mm -hmm. right, during farming, we also use like very um, strong pesticides because tobacco is very delicate and it needs to be you know washed and monitored and make sure that you know pesticides that we use make sure that you know to prevent um, pests really right mm, so of course mm. that also has an impact on them she was saying Unajikuna ngozi kabisa, you know and all those things which is not good but also we're talking about um, huge cases of deforestation we're talking about climate change right now as well so it's like the impact is it's like a cycle yeah, you know even those, those who work on tobacco on farms health. yeah they get uh, the what we call the green leaf disease yeah where we that uh, nicotine mm -hmm. penetrates through your skin into the, into skin, the body yeah. mm -hmm. so you get nicotine poisoning mm -hmm. and uh, you know children work on those farms that's true they are the ones who help their parents mm -hmm. even have a child labor in the such areas yeah. And you'll find a mother who is even uh, lactating. Eh? Mm. You have a kid, you go to the farm with the kid, the kid mm. is playing there. Mm -hmm. you, uh, when the kid wants to be fed, you go and feed the kid with yeah. those hands that mm -hmm. are just uh, mm -hmm. touching the lips and oh, the, yeah. every exactly. kind of yeah. mess. Yeah. Yeah. So no, those really children, is. and even the mothers who are expectant and miscarried. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And even the eyes, I mean, looking at the eyes as well, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not really good. And the men, men are the ones who collect the check, women and we, for children. And the one who are in, working <laughs> in the farms, which is not fair. <laughs> and even when it comes to, to the contracts that they're given, uh, you know, we talked about unfair contractual agreements where you're given a loan yeah. to farm this. And mm. then once the once you once the profit is there, you'd not get the whole share. It is you know the companies that will take their own yeah, share, yeah, just like you're living on loan, which is not very beneficial. I mm. see what you're saying in terms of mm. then helping farmers to really understand this and look for other alternatives. But um, so, please for you. Um, Having gone through this, and you're saying it's a constant battle. It's not easy to mm. quit. You are still on your journey, um, you know, as far as living a tobacco-free life, and that is smoking in this in this sense, right? Um, but how would you say this impacted you, or how did it affect your health? We talked about your family at some point. You know, they were not okay with this. Um, you talked about affected you on this. Was yeah, my throat. It? Your my throat, left, right? Left yes. So could you tell us how? Um, you know, just smoking and also that, including these other things that you are consuming, um, together with, uh, with smoking, how did that affect you? Your health, maybe, um, or any other part of your life? First, I could tell, I could tell at the beginning, mm -hmm. when I started noticing that something is affecting me, there must be something affecting me. Mm -hmm. I started f having a, dif a difficulty in, in breathing. Okay. So I, f and that made me sort out to start exercising, physical exercise, because you know I started feeling like maybe niko sababu sija piga masho sana, you know, because si wanga tuna believe as entertainers when you stand on stage there you lose very many calories, <laughs> whether you are moving or <laughs> not moving. Yeah. All those things, it's even sometimes even when you're not okay. moving, like you when you're seated there. Yeah. By the by the time do your research, by the yeah. time you're coming from there mm -hmm. out of this show, yeah. you will have lost very many some calories. Why? Okay. Because you will be like, I did it well. Okay. Like 
kuna kitu kuna kitu meshed that's interesting kuna, okay yeah it yeah. is natural it is natural it is it is it is an ease to the system okay yeah, yeah. so i started feeling difficulty in breathing kifua inakuwa mzito sana then the the ribs naanza mm-hmm. kusikia when i'm when i'm when i'm inhaling mm. i feel it's like it's so hollow it's like i can see through mm. i can see through from from my from my throat mm. through to the lungs it's mm. so hollow like i can feel the space it's like a feeling constricted maybe na could you yeah, yeah yeah then it is ni chafu chafu iko na kohozi iko na ah uh, okay okay yeah yeah mm-hmm. but i never took it serious yeah. i never took it serious i was like ah maybe ni kwa sababu nalegea legea sana maybe i start exercising and stuff but i started exercising and mm-hmm. i can tell you mm-hmm. even physical exercise alone mm-hmm. is not enough to mm. bring down that mess to yeah. bring you out of that thing yeah, yeah. because it takes it takes a lot i think it takes even a lot of counseling it takes a lot of it takes a lot of uh being alone yeah because if you are around people you'll be around those people who are doing what exactly you're running away you're from you're trying to yes yeah because yeah. you said so, at some point yeah your, your company was not yeah not good my was company not, was not yeah. good and okay when that i started feeling of... those effects mm-hmm. i now i now started fighting myself mm-hmm. nafaka kujua nataka kujua nataka kujua but by the time i came to realize mm-hmm. i had an issue that would make me spit in a in a paper for like in one hour mm-hmm. i could spit i could spit in a paper almost half and i'm spitting not just normal spit mm-hmm. but it is really thick Mm, okay. It is not a normal speed. Yeah, yeah. Yaani naangalia hivi naona eh jamaa nagonjeka nini? Mm. Nikaanza kujiuliza maswali mingi sana. Yeah. I started questioning myself so much. Okay. And then from that time I really said it so many times. Nasema I'm, I'm going to quit. Mm. The next day I find myself doing exactly what I said I'm going to. Yeah. And I'm like Why is it that my words are not why is it that my words are not bad making after cuz it's like you're not able to honor you Yes yes sometimes yeah. you know my wife is there and I told her yesterday turn up in in a very with a very it's firm primitive. Yes Leo's Monday I will never I, I have yeah. quit maka na zichukua na zitupa kwa cho then tomorrow in the evening Monday niko nayo Mhm and I'm like why why is it so difficult for me yeah. to to quit this yeah. i even talked to mm-hmm. you know mr joel I, yeah not mr joel mr yeah. joel oh, the main, okay <laughs> mr jo- i met yeah. mr joel yeah. through uh, mr kenneth b ah, okay. in, at kenya national kenya national theater mm-hmm. there was an event there and mm-hmm. ketka came mm-hmm. and graced our event and mm-hmm. when they graced our event that mm-hmm. is when we made we contact with yeah. so this this it, it has been a journey mm-hmm atu japatana tu leo yeah. Yeah. yeah so through mr ken mm-hmm. i met him but okay. before i met him i had opened up to mr ken and mm-hmm. told ken ken i need to quit smoking all right ken i need help mm-hmm. i had i i any on a very personal level ile i need help to run away from this mm-hmm. at the kenya national theater i find other people there who are doing exactly what i am running away from yeah yani inakuwa ni kama everywhere i'm going ni kama ina ni hound ni pepo Yeah. Ile it is a spirit. Yeah. It it follows you where you are going. Yeah. And if you don't really first of all I must say that as much as we are trying to fight this mm. tobacco thing mm-hmm. we must remember that God created it with a purpose. So we should mm. really put God at the center of this battle. Okay. We should remind the youth mm-hmm. that waache kudanganywa na makanisa mm. warudi ndani kwa roho na wajue there is god who created this tobacco and he has a reason for creating it okay. and if we go back to god mm-hmm. he will help us to run away from it because he knew it would be a distraction to his okay. to his people i mean i hear you yeah. um so still a journey like you said so you made that decision two years ago to yeah. quit yeah. but you were not able to quit until february <laughs> weeks this ago year. yes a few weeks ago a week so it's yes. not even february it's yeah, like it's not, april it's, it's, there about juicy juicy i'm telling you just the other day i can i can count the days mm. 
I'm not even done 21 days. It is said that 21 mm. days, when you make it to 21 days, yeah, then becomes, you've really quit. Becomes, yeah. I'm telling you, I've not made 21 days. Okay. I can, you All know, right. it is it is a trauma. It is something that... Unasikiata nikisema na shukuru mungu sana I'm working with Kenya Tobacco Control Alliance because, mm. honestly speaking, it is a therapy to me. I even told Mr. Joel the mm. other day, that this is a therapy to me. It is okay. a healing process for me. Okay. When I stand on that stage and talk to people about awareness, I am making myself aware. I am okay. fighting myself before okay. I fight anyone else. Okay. Because it is not just something that you will just wake up and say, Nime talk. No, no. It's, it's, it's no. constant. It's Your doctor constant will not battle. save you. Yeah. Ata kusaidia kukufanya yeah. chemotherapy ukishikuwa na iyo cancer. No, yeah. But ata kuambia toka na utoke. No, yeah. Ketka ita kuja ikuambia ti because tobacco kills over 8 million each year, 7 million out of direct use and 1.2 million out of second-hand smoking. Yeah, second yeah. smoking mm -hmm. That will make you come out. No, no it is more of a personal day-to-day -day battle mm. that you must be committed to. Okay. And now my discipline is my kids. I see. Yes. Oh, I see that. I see that. Some sense yes. of, of, of purpose to help you yes. uh, in this journey because like you said, it's not it's not easy um, yeah. for anyone. Um, and, and and Mr. Joel, and, and especially when it comes to our policies, right? Like we said, mm. we have the Tobacco Control <coughs> Act. Um, and, and, and I mean, like we all do, Kenya is was one of the countries that, um, you know, joined in the treaty with WHO and ratified, you know, like all those things. But at the same time, we still have, this is a very, very big issue. So what is it that then we need to do differently? Do we need to change our policies? Do we need to strengthen some areas? What exactly do we need to do just to make sure that then we make the tobacco-free nation a reality? All, all these things are supposed to run together. Okay. But when you neglect one part, then the entire process fails. Mm -hmm because uh, we are supposed to have programs on cessation to help those who are addicted. Because mm -hmm. you know, most people get addicted when they are still ignorant, they mm -hmm. are young, mm -hmm. the age of discovery. Yeah. By the time they know what is right and what is wrong, mm -hmm. they are already in captivity. Yeah. So we need to come up with the ways of helping them. Mm -hmm. And somebody like himself, you know, relapsing is there. It's That's why even the Bible says you yeah. fall seven times and rise seven times. Mm -hmm. Uh, he really needs support yeah. because uh, when you are helping somebody, even when you find that he's back to it, mm. you don't look at him don't badly. Judge them yeah, you try to encourage him because mm. if he was smoking every day, now he smokes after two days, and then he will smoke after seven days, and then he continues until he now even forgets about the smoking. Mm. So you don't uh, really reprimand those mm. who are uh, because they are also not happy yeah uh, and in most cases when you try to reprimand them they become so harsh so we have these policies the government is supposed to also ensure that uh, the tobacco control act is fully mm. in enforced yeah. you know we have problems where you are talking about advertising you find mm. these things are being advertised everywhere mm -hmm. you talk about uh, tobacco now they've and, moved to the digital space yeah and using in, on the internet to you find, the they're yeah. there mm -hmm. you talk about uh, um, uh, ban on taps so you know tobacco advertising promotion and mm -hmm. sponsorship yeah. as we are talking now mm -hmm. BAT has put uh, adverts uh, on in students portals in universities uh, mm -hmm. uh, that it is running a program called Battle of Minds mm -hmm. where students contest mm -hmm. and they are rewarded they are given what mm -hmm. you know that is already uh, something that is not supposed to be happening according to the law. Mm -hmm. But then you talk until you you lose breath and nobody's yeah. doing nobody's anything. Listening. Yeah, they yeah. say they need that money. Mm -hmm. So you, that's, that's one area that we are failing. Mm -hmm. In some of these places, um, social places, where shisha is really being consumed. Mm -hmm. You had the other time uh, when they were talking about um, uh, places that are noisy, where people t uh, drink alcohol and all that, that mm -hmm. they were being in these dangerous areas, yeah. they were being closed down. And uh, uh, somebody to the, uh, the rank of the, uh, the deputy president said, no, mm -hmm. we, you know, uh, we are not going to allow the governor to interfere with our businesses. Mm -hmm. We must sit and discuss. You know, so when such things happen, yeah. yeah, because these places are owned by the mighty, mm -hmm. very powerful people, mm -hmm. where even when the enforcement officers go, uh, they are they They're receive phone calls. Much. 
Yeah. Somebody at one time, the Secretary General of the Club Owners Association, we were with him at the uh, TB47, mm -hmm. and he was saying that uh, the Director of Public Health in uh, Nairobi, who tried to close down those places, had been sacked. Mm. You know, that much. It's so difficult. everyone wants to okay. guard their jobs. But mm. if we can have enforcement, mm -hmm. you know, the problem is impunity. Okay. Impunity is the thing. It's one of the then biggest corruption. Yeah. Eh? Fellows mm. given small, small monies. Because even cigarettes are not supposed to be sold in single sticks. Mm -hmm. But you'll find them being sold in yeah. single sticks. Yeah. Even on our streets mm. and nobody bothers. Yeah. I mean, we had like designated areas for smoking, but still working, you know. And around, those areas, we, wa we want them closed yeah. down. They are hazardous. Yeah. Can you imagine now being... Uh, in a place like this and down here you have something called a designated, designated smoking, smoking zone. zone and then all that smoke comes here the whole day and you are here working mm -hmm. you are the second smoker the whole That's day uh, seven days a week or yeah. six days a week yeah what are you doing you finally develop those complications That's and die right. so those places are also just hazardous somewhere yeah. just uh, you look at Modurua, look at the bus station mm -hmm. just outside there yeah. And even some of these hotels, even the five-star hotels, mm. they just they have, have rooms. So these are <coughs> things that we should enforce. Mm -hmm. We should look have at the law. Yeah, the even those okay. cigarettes coming inside. We have mm -hmm. got uh, the protocol elimination of illicit trade across the border. Mm -hmm. We are not enforcing that. Yeah. The borders are just for us. Well, Fellows bring in what they want to bring. Yeah. And they are and just to consume the all over. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Serious enforcement of these policies need to be done as yeah, soon as possible to done. help with the same. Okay. Mm. Um, and, and please, because we need to end the next like two minutes or so. Um, so having gone through through this, still battling the same, still trying, um, you know, to stay strong and, 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 and stay strong and true to your promise um, that you made to yourself, um, that you're going to quit, right? What is it that you'll tell the young people? Because like we said, now manufacturers are becoming more creative. They're introducing more products into the market. You'd hear some people argue and say, no, but the e-cigarettes are much, much better than the traditional cigarettes. And people are vaping. There's also the pouches and all those things, which seem cool. And they seem, quote, unquote, better. But really, at, at, at the end of the day, it's nicotine that we're consuming. And nicotine is not, is not good. What is it that you'll tell your fellow young people because you're pretty young you look very young right yeah. what is it that you'll tell the young people very quickly as far as what you have experienced uh, what you've gone through and the effects that you felt as far as tobacco is concerned i will i will just go back to what mr joel said mm -hmm. he said that these these people who are who are pushing the tobacco industry are mm -hmm. high and mighty mm -hmm. they are mighty powerful people so we as young people might have no or even limited strength mm -hmm. when it comes to opposing those people who are allowing but you can choose cigarettes. not to partake yes yeah so it is it is for us mm -hmm. personally to make to that personal decision mm -hmm. because a wise man is one who learns from other people's mistakes sure. so i prefer if even one person will learn from my mistakes mm -hmm. i am here so that at least one person or two or three well, uh, will not go through what I had to go through, mm -hmm. what I have to go This is a battle as I speak right now. Mm -hmm. I, am, I am somebody when I feel like ningeendelea kusmoke, ningeendelea kusmoke, mm -hmm. singe, singe pata chance ya kukuja kwa hii interview. Mm -hmm. I feel like, mm -hmm. I feel like it was trying to take away mm -hmm. who I am. Okay. So, I am here as any in chance, mm -hmm. any chance, and I see it as God given, mm -hmm. so that I can help somebody else, and through helping somebody else, mm -hmm. I can also get my help. I because like in yeah. in teaching, you get you to learn. You also learn. Yeah. I like that. All right, yeah. and, and Joel, very quickly in closing, as we mark this day, it's very significant, and all of us should, you know, take part in this fight. If this is to achieve a no tobacco, um, you know, or free tobacco country, what is it that you would say? Very quickly, like thirty seconds. There is my prayer that we all hold hands and uh, help our farmers mm -hmm. uh, so that the country is tobacco free mm -hmm. and then uh, I also pray that we work together with the government. The government is not much very receive when it comes to working with the civil society organizations. Mm -hmm. We struggle so much uh, without any resources 
And the government officers uh, spend most of the resources on workshops and uh, seminars and mm -hmm. travels uh, in the name of what they are not doing, what we are mm -hmm. doing. Okay. So we well, pray that all of us and young people should cease from being attracted to these flavored products, mm -hmm. e-cigarettes and oral nicotine pouches. Mm -hmm. And even we want this, uh, the menthol to not to be there so that cigarettes are just plain. Mm -hmm. And then uh, these uh, products, in case they are supposed to be there, Mm -hmm. then it should also be plain but we pray that taxation taxes should be up mm -hmm. taxes 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 so we the government pay. should tax you know it is uh, it is so heartbreaking to see the government increasing taxes on essential products mm -hmm. and these harmful products are left mm -hmm. you know there are no taxes on them this time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's very bad it's hypocritical especially to a country that uh, mm -hmm. professes to have leadership that is christian okay. and then it is favoring <laughs> wrong products okay uh, all right so taxation <laughs> should be high so that people are not able to afford it especially <laughs> the young people yes, all right yes. thank you very much joel shoes and gitali chair of my kenya tobacco control alliance ketka as well as pews mutie nzomo aka so kenya for coming by today and of course the question that we asked you uh, and that is what should be done to uh, ensure that again we reduce the burden as far as uh, tobacco is concerning these harmful effects jack so just allow me to read two comments very quickly um so someone says planting more tobacco as it used to be people around there had money for people uh will not stop using tobacco products so you think we plant more uh, no okay and then another one says lowering its cost um okay you know what no that is not what we're saying all right so someone says proper diet after smoking tobacco and then someone says uh, eliminate it completely and another person agrees with you increase taxation um and this is as far as your favor so keep them coming on our socials and as well as on our youtube page that is at ntv kenya but for now allow us to say goodbye have yourselves a lovely day ahead and uh, i will see you soon stay safe and uh, enjoy the rest of your day goodbye for now